Well, at first, I was afraid. I was petrified. I kept thinking that I could never live. I could barely fly. And I spent, oh, so many nights thinking how he did me wrong and, and I could fail. And I learned how to get along. That's a super cool ringtone. I know, isn't it? Yes, we're next. Finally, we've been standing in this line forever. Oh, ooh, my knees are locking in place. Listen. We've all made sacrifices, but it's worth it. Because after two days and three nights of waiting, we're some of the first people in the <laughs> world to own the greatest tech gadget of all time ever this year. The glove phone. Yes, glove phone. What's a glove phone? Uh, it's the latest in wearable tech. Part glove, part phone, all glove phone. I'm confident that a few years from now, all clothes will be computers. Really? Computer clothes? Great. Those will look perfect with my calculator earrings. <laughs> Sorry, everyone. This just in on the glove phone. We are all out of glove phones. You'll have to come back another time. What? <gasps> what? But no! We've been waiting here for days! <laughs> That's the spirit. Hey, don't think of this as failing at buying a glove phone. Think of it as succeeding at standing in line for a really, really, really long time. But we were next! <laughs> there you go, Mr. Giraffe. Wow, he has a long neck. It's six papers long. What are you drawing, Tara? My purple bear. Hello. Hi, Jets. We're making beautiful pictures of our favorite animals. Want to see? Okay. After we draw them, we're going to paint them. I like your horse, Chloe. <laughs> it's a giraffe, silly. I'm Chloe's most favorite animal. But she's painted me lots of times. I'm doing my punky bear. Isn't he beautiful? Purple is the best colour. You do have purple, right, Chloe? Yes, lots of it. I'll get the paint. You can make your giraffe purple too, Chloe. No, thank you. She's pink. Here you go. Five bottles of paint. Five? That's not right. I have six paints. Count again. One, blue, blue two, red, red three, green, green, four, yellow, five. Purple. Hooray! Where's pink? There should be pink. I know. Let's pretend we're detectives and we have to find the missing paint. Okay. Look, I made my own glove phone. See, you can put your pictures on it like this, and then you can even post them on social media. If social media is the fridge. Can you get a triple megapixel palm display on that thing? I don't know what that means. Because the real glove phone can! <gasps> if it's broken, you're paying! Everybody calm down. It's hard, I know, but we can get through this. How can I stay at the cutting edge of technology if I don't own the technology at the cutting edge? I don't know! I was trying to be strong for the both of us! Oh, this is so hard! Did somebody say glove phone? <laughs> Huh? Yeah, I guess. In the last minute or so, someone did. Yeah, why? 
because I could have sworn I heard glove phone. Or maybe I was just looking at my hand. What? How did you get that? My parents paid someone to stand in line. Did you know some bozos waited like three days for one of these? Wow. Pfft, what a bunch of bozos. Right, guys? I know, right? One of you send me a text. Um. Oh. Hand control motion sensors. Super intuitive. It's like this is what my hand naturally wants to do anyway. And if I want to open up a weather app, I just do this. <gasps> Come on! I own you! Oh, it's cloudy. See? Let me try. I want to see if the thumb sensors are as cozy as I've heard. If you think I'm going to let you use my glove phone, I'm going to ask you to talk to the hand. Talk to the hand. That's the slogan for the glove phone. It's in all the ads. <laughs> talk to the hand. Oh, that is such a good slogan. <laughs> Rage is so messy. Come on, Ginger. We're your friends. Let us try the glove phone. Uh, I don't know. I sort of just came over here to gloat. Oh, come on. There's got to be something we can work out. Just name hmm. it. <laughs> okay, here's the deal. We shoot this super sweet kung fu video for you, and in exchange, you let us use the glove phone. Deal? Uh, I'll think about it. Okay, edit that so it looks like I did a cool backflip. And make me on fire! Uh, I guess, given enough time, I could try to figure... Oh, you could try? I guess I'll try to think of a time that I can let you use the glove phone. Well, now, well, hang on, Ginger. Who said try? No one said try. Ben will add fire. And what if I threw in something to sweeten the deal? My secret stash of TV collectibles? But it's secret. Mm -hmm. Come on, Hank. Help us out here. Mm -hmm. All right, if it's important. But be careful. There's really valuable stuff in there. Like that napkin mm -hmm. is the same color as one they used on English Party Mansion. What a show. Hmm, pretty impressive stash, I guess. Impressive enough to get a look at that glove phone, huh? Ah, uh, no touching! Stop right there. What if... I am dancing, I am dancing On the stage, on the stage Everyone is watching, everyone is watching Take a bow Did you like my dance, Lovely Carrot? It was very nice, Miss Chloe. Hi, Chloe! Hi, Lil! Hi, Mac! Mac and I came all the way from our house and we haven't dropped a balloon once! Whoa! Balloon in sky! Want to play, Chloe? Of course! Come on, come on, come on! Come on! Keep pressing the game. Dang it. I hate that game. Shut up! It's over, Millie. No, it's over. Shut up! Stop it, Millie and Geo. That game over is stupid again. Stop it right now. Oh, screw up. <sighs> <sighs> Well, well, I'm Villain Guy. Where are all the villains? Man, I hate South Park movie. That's Stucks. Ha 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 ha. You loser. Peter, my little bunnykins, that's so sweet. Happy Mummy's Day, Mummy. Henry? Oh, uh, back in a minute. 
Thank you, Peter. I love it. Oh, goody. I knew you would. Henry! So, Honey Bunny, are you looking forward to the tingly toothbrushes father and son day out tomorrow? Oh, yes. I can't wait. Is Henry coming too? Henry! We'll see. Ooh, goody! That means he's not coming! Careful, there's really valuable stuff in there. Like that napkin is the same color as one they used on English Party Mansion. What a show. Hmm, pretty impressive stash, I guess. Impressive enough to get a look at that glove phone? Huh? Ah, uh, no touching! Stop right there. What if? <laughs> okay, so you want me to call my contacts in the music industry and get Ginger a front row seat at the Teen Romance Music Festival? Is it so hard to believe we're just doing it out of the goodness of our hearts? I want it! I want it! Gimme! 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 Oh, I'm just getting a call on my glove phone. I'll take it into the hall. If you'll excuse me. This is Ginger. Talk to the hand. Did you see that? Okay, are you just doing this so you can use Ginger's glove phone? What? That's... That's crazy. What are you talking about? Yes. Yes, we are. Look, I get it, but you can't just do a million favors for Ginger so you can use it. We're not doing a million favors for Ginger. We're just doing one complex thing for him. I mean, where does it end? Think about it. If you get this ticket, you're going to owe me a favor. Oh, yeah, that's right. Don't you see? You're falling into a black hole of favors. Oh, is it a wormhole black hole of favors? A black hole? Isn't that one of those dangerous science things? <sighs> Angela's right. The glove phone isn't worth it. Well, maybe it's not. But you know what else they said wasn't worth it? Finding the world's first dinosaur bones. <laughs> climbing to the top of the moon. <laughs> sailing oh, ah! to Mount Everest. I mean, everyone said those people were crazy. They said they should just sit at home and fluff their pillows. But they showed them. And we'll show them too. Because we are going to get that glove no! phone. Unless I build a bridge to his window. Super shapes. Mike! Mike! Theo! You found my toy train! Yup! It was in the lost and... Countdown from 11! 3... 2... 1... Yeah! <laughs> Fergus is tickled! Aww! He's so happy to see us! <laughs> Very happy! Uh-oh! Look! Plunging plugins! It's a giant waterfall! You got that right! Dormouse! Dormouse! Yep, I'm Dormouse. You unlocked the gate. Yeah! Thank you so much, Team Umizoomi. Now, any last words before I shoot you to death? Fast, 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 fast. Yes, Finally, Margaret Anderson and Christopher Ronaldson. What the hell is wrong with you two? You both are not ashamed or what? But we can explain what- You must not give me explanations, Viley. Now you are in serious trouble with your friend Christo. Ariana already found out about all this. Now explain to me, what were you thinking of kidnapping Daniel and Lionel while they did nothing about it? Christopher Ronaldson, what the hell is this? Um, it's Lionel's abdomen. And what does that indicate? What did you do to him? Um, 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 I, um, I, I, licked it all off, and, and, and then, sex, sex, sexually, abu, abu, abused him. I'm going to kill you, stupid little piece of crap.
vacations. Are we there yet? Oh, Han, we've only gone this far. We're going all the way to a foreign country, Canada. Canada? That's right, Bobo. Our fine neighbors to the north. <laughs> ah, Canada. It's like a different world. And let me tell you, I've been looking forward to this vacation since, well, well since my last vacation. Vacations sure are great. <laughs> Ew, who sucks to Julie? Ah, yeah, you're right, Howard. Uh, seven days of just kicking back, relaxing, and fishing. Now that's a vacation. Oh, yeah, a vacation for you guys won't be any vacation for me. I'll still be cooking, washing, cleaning without modern conveniences, don't you know? <laughs> this is, like, totally hectic. Can we, like, go back home now? Why do I have to leave George for a whole week? Young lady, you can spend one week with your family. Yeah, I have to spend my whole life with you people. I don't want to go either. <gasps> Why don't you want to go? You give me one good reason, young man, that you don't want to go. This better be good. Well, um, because... Good answer! Let's see if it's on the board. Show me because... Oh, good answer! Good answer! You know what time it is? Time for noogies? <laughs> right! Time for noogies! Oh, <laughs> this is for so you. <laughs> you know, kids, this is an opportunity of a lifetime. This isn't just camping out in the backyard. This is the big time. This is camping in the great north woods. My hair. <laughs> this came for you today. <laughs> camping is fun. That's the spirit, Bobby. Nothing like getting up at dawn. Who's dawn? And digging up night crawlers. What are those? Baiting them on hooks, drilling in those bass, gutting them. Oh, you're going to do that, Howard. Yes, sirree. And eating them fresh off the hook. Now, everybody, doesn't that sound like fun? Fun? I don't even know what you're talking about. Vacations are one of the few times kids are allowed to eat in the car. Clam Oh, Howard, do me a favor and don't talk with your mouth full. Okay, we're here at the Canadian border. About time. Yeah, what took so long? Ah, smell that! Canadian air! Oh, that's not canted in the Indian air, Uncle Ted. That's Roger. <laughs> wow. I've never been to a foreign country before. Come on, eh? Come on, eh? Come on, keep it going, keep it going. Hey, hey! Woo! Welcome to Canada. Bienvenue au Canada. Huh. Now, now, no need to get nervous, eh? Gotta ask you a few questions, eh? I have just a couple of questions for you, eh? Now then. Are you all citizens of the U.S. of A.A.? Oh, yeah. Absolutely. Uh -huh. yeah. 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 Well, I'll take that as a yes, then. And what about you, young man? Are you a citizen? Me? Uh, I'm a generic. So, young man, for what reason are you entering Canada? Eh? Boy, this better be good. What reason? What, what reason? Okay, little shaver. Drum roll, please. Here's the top five reasons people enter Canada. Number five, find out where Canadian bacon comes from. Number three, didn't notice a sign, thought it was still part of the U.S. Hey, Bobby, what happened to number four? I'm not really good at counting it. Number two, I've never seen a beaver up close. Number four, get a moose for Kelly's hair. <laughs> Number one reason to enter Canada is going camping. Oh, super! That's right. Good, well, good well, reason. Well, Some well. of the best reasons, bar none. You I bet. Ever heard. Welcome to Canada. Wee oui, wee. Oui. Bienvenue au Canada. Let's mix some pink paint so I can paint my giraffe. How do we do it again? Five parts white paint to one part red. Who wants to go to the zoo? Me, 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 me. me. I do. I do. Do you think we'll have pink giraffes there? <laughs> I'm afraid not. That's okay. We can always go back and see them in Chloe's world. It's like he's making fun of somebody or something. It's a trap! It's a trap! Wild man in the air! Very good. Ah, Ginger. You've passed the test. Test? Only the test of friendship, Tom. 
But test to see if you would let your jealousy over the fact that I had a glove phone consume you. You did! Or should I say, fail the test? Wow! So you can even clap your hands while wearing the glove phone? Because I had read that we weren't going to be able to do that until they released the glove phone 2.0. Oh no, you can't! Oh no. <gasps> you broke it! Ah! Oh man! My butler's butler waited in line for this forever! So after all that, nobody has a glove phone? That's insane! This is Nighthawk over. I think the lesson to be gleaned from all this is that things are fun to have. But what really matters in life are the people French. Hank, what what is that? Sad. Nighthawk, you're breaking up. Repeat, I repeat, Nighthawk, repeat. Our friendships as the <laughs> It looks like nobody's technology is behaving today. <laughs> what? You called the cops? Jeez. I would call them and tell them not to come, but I don't have my glove phone. Somebody broke it. Our experiences. Good morning Go City and you are now watching the GNN News. Today we have a serious situation about this little girl, and to anyone who doesn't know who she is, her name is Dora, and she is a big troublemaker in all of our city, and she is about to get executed today because she has made a fake lockdown at her school yesterday. And what she had done as a fake lockdown at her school was that she was pretending to be a burglar to scare many children, staff, and the teachers. And all of this incidents was just a April Fool's prank, and not even funny at all. And since that she has committed so many crimes in Go City, she will be executed so Go City will not have any more problems from her anymore. Okay Dora, any last words before you will get executed? Please, I don't want to die. Too bad, because you will die if you like it or not, and I will pull the lever in 3, 2, 1. Oh my goodness, she is finally dead again. Yes, 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 yes. Now will you no longer have to deal with the little piece of crap never again. That is what she gets for being so bad and causing crimes in Go City. Wow, Dora's funeral stone looks so amazing at this spot of Calvary Cemetery, and she deserves it for being a baby show character and for you all the crap that she has done in the city. She does for also being a horrible student in my class and for bullying so many of the students, and for also causing destructions at the school as well. Since that Dora is finally dead, who wants to go celebrate of Dora being dead? We will love to go and celebrate Dora being dead finally Luna. I will love to join in and celebrate Dora being dead guys, but sadly I don't have the time to join in and celebrate because I need to get back on duty. But I have to go and see you all later. Now let's go and celebrate. 